royalty and the nobility were in a position to set diamonds in their jewelry. The diamond marked the difference between the classes. If I can have your attention, welcome and shalom. Welcome to Caprice. Here is our National Diamond Center. Okay, my name is Shani. I will take you for a tour. I will explain to you about the Israeli diamond cutting and polishing, which is very famous today. I will tell you about the diamonds that we cut and polish in the factory. We have a short film, it's about five minutes, and then we will go ahead and see the diamonds, okay? okay. So, for a very long time now, Israel has been one of the leading countries in the world that is doing diamond cutting and polishing. How many diamonds do we cut? We cut here almost 60% of the diamonds in the world, okay? Where do the diamonds come from? The diamonds are coming from a few places, but Israel receives most of the diamonds from Russia, okay? They are sent, they are sent from the mines to Israel by De Beers company, okay? Why Israel? Why are they sending the diamonds to Israel? This is because in Israel we have developed new technology to cut the diamonds, okay? We are cutting the diamonds with laser machines today. Why, what does the laser enable us to do? Using the laser, we can cut the diamonds with the most facets in the world. Okay? What are the facets? Are you know, do you know? Facets. The facets are the cuts around the diamond. Okay? The more facets you have, the more the diamond will be more brilliant. Exactly. How many facets do we have? If you go to South Africa, if you go to India, Europe, Belgium, to look at diamonds, how many facets do they have there? They, you will mostly find 36 different facets. In Israel, because we have the new technology, we are cutting the diamonds with 57 different facets, and we also have 72 different facets. Okay? What is the difference? The difference is in the brilliance, <coughs> therefore in the quality of the diamond. Okay. Any questions so far? None. Everyone can understand my English? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you have any questions, feel free to stop me, okay? Okay. I want to tell you a little bit about us, about Caprice. Caprice in Israel, we have three different branches. The first branch is here, where you are now, in Tiberias, the city. This is the diamond factory. So, all of the diamonds are cut here. All of the jewelry is designed here. What does this mean? That you have factory prices here. For the diamonds, this is dealer to dealer cost prices and not dealer to customer, okay? It's very important. Now also, our company, we represent the Diamond Exchange Center, which is in Ramat Gan, it's a city right here in Israel, it's beside Tel Aviv, okay? The Diamond Exchange Center in Israel is one of the most biggest and prestigious diamond centers in the world. The most popular sorry, one is, yes, the round, the round, which is also the most valuable one. Why? Because it is the most, most brilliant. That's why it's called the round brilliant cut. But we have a lot more shapes today. For example, the heart shape, princess, the princess shape, was originated in Israel. Oh. The princess is a square, square cut. Cuts. Other than that, you can see marquee, marquee. also pear shape, mm -hmm. emerald, mm -hmm. cushion cut, triangle, all of these. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you remember how many facets we have? 50 plus. 57. <laughs> 72. Exactly. Only one cut has 72 different facets. Only the princess has 72. All the rest all have 57, but this is only if they have the cutting and polishing of Israel. If you go anywhere else to buy diamonds, you will most likely not be able to find the Israel diamond cutting and polishing, which is very important, okay? Now, I do want to tell you one more thing, because 
In order to know the quality of a diamond, what do we need to know? The clarity. Exactly. We need to know four things. <clears throat> the first thing we need to know is the carrot. What is the carrot? The size. The size. The size. The size. It's one part of the quality. The more the diamond is heavy, the more the price will increase. Second one, the color. The more the diamond is white, the more the quality of the diamond will increase. Okay? Clarity, how clean and pure the diamond is. And the last one is the cutting and polishing of the diamond. Okay? It takes 50,000 tons of sawmill and stones to find a one carat diamond. The hardest stone on earth. It takes a diamond to cut, work, and polish another diamond. With the development of new technologies, today laser is used to cut the diamond to exact dimensions. Each stone is carefully examined in order to decide how it is to be cut and in what shape and form it will be polished. In the past, only royalty and the nobility were in a position to set diamonds in their jewelry. The diamond marked the difference between the classes. Today, thanks to a special status and prestige, the diamond is a symbol in all areas of life. From the world of sport, to beauty contests, the dream of every woman throughout the world. Every woman, when she wants to feel special, will wear a diamond, the symbol of status, prestige, and beauty. Over 50% of the world's polished raw diamonds come from Israel. For many years, this was Israel's top export branch. Today, it is the number two export branch after high tech. Every diamond deal is concluded with the Hebrew words, Mazal Vracha. The Israeli Diamond Exchange is the leading diamond exchange in the world. Billion dollar deals are sealed there with a handshake and the words, Mazal Vracha. How is the value of this rare and precious stone determined? A professional gemologist examines the diamond and, with the help of many years of expertise and sophisticated equipment, decides on its value. The carat weight, the quality of the color of the diamond, the quality of the clarity, and the quality of the proportion work of the diamond as well. This diamond weighs 5.03 carats, is characterized by triple excellent proportions, H color, VS1 clarity, is in every respect a top quality diamond. The value of the diamond continues to increase when it is set in a piece of jewelry, a piece that helps to emphasize its beauty. With delicate and fine craftsmanship, we create white or yellow gold jewelry of every kind. Using a unique wax injection method, a tree is formed of a number of raw items of jewelry wrapped in plaster. Gold flakes from which the jewelry will be made are smelted in a kiln. After the wax is drained out, the gold is poured into the resilient hollow using a special device at high temperature in order to preserve the uniformity and strength of the jewelry.
fabulous pieces of jewelry that come out of the production plant are sent to showrooms all over the country so that many people can enjoy the diamond experience, while only the luckiest of them will have the privilege of wearing one and going home with a dream. A diamond, the perfect gift, the gift that will forever retain its value. You guys are about to enter the door of no return. <laughs> No return, no exchange. <laughs> no surrender. <laughs> wow. These are all our designs. You know that? We design and make here. Grabe, ang mahal. Huh? Ang mahal. As in, sobrang layo ng price? Parang one carat. Ang sabi niya, $20,000 is two carats. Mm -hmm. Tapos one carat is like a pound. Hindi, kasi nga. Hindi, yeah, point, point. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. Mahal, grabe. Earth stone. Ay! July. January. Garnet pala ako. Ma, hindi pala ako ruby. Garnet pala ako. Ba't akala mo ruby? Ma, garnet ako. Ibang ruby, July. Garnet pala ako. Ayan. Garnet. Uy, chikitita. Chikita. I'm sorry? You, 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 you speak chikita. Chikita. Tita. 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 Like, like auntie. 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 Yeah. Chikita. What is Chiquita? Small. Small. Oh, Tita. Okay, Kuya and Ate, are you ready? Time to eat. Let's go to the bus. Hunger Games. She is a, a Ate and I am her Ato. What is Ato? It's the opposite of Ate. Ate, Ato. Ato. Let's go. 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 Let's